Link, presented by Financial Center First Credit Union. Thank you for joining us on This Week Community Link. I'm Marco Romero. And I'm Caroline Mays Medley. The Indiana Donor Network serves as a link between donors and patients waiting for organ, tissue, and eye transplants. They champion the cause through education, outreach, and support. To tell us more is Ebony Chappelle from the Indiana Donor Network. Welcome, we're so glad to have you, Ebony. Thank you, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having us. Now, welcome, Ebony. Why is organ and tissue donation so important? It's so important because there are so many people that are waiting. So right now, we have over 114,000 people waiting across the nation wow. for a life-saving organ transplant. So I have on my beautiful Coats Blue um, today. Mm -hmm. And if you can imagine filling Lucas Oil Stadium up two times, that is the number of people that are waiting, and especially in communities of color where we make up 60% of the transplant waiting list. So there's a huge need that exists. Wow. So you just said 60%. That means yeah. that the donations for minorities and other cultures is very low. Why is that, and what can we do? So one reason, there's just a huge need in general, and one of the reasons is that um, organ donation is a miracle, it's very rare, so we need more people to say yes to donation, um, to make themselves available for that uh, should the time come for them to be eligible to give a gift to someone. One of the other reasons is that communities of color, as I'm sure you both are aware, um, suffer disproportionately from various health issues that put them at risk for organ wow. failure, so that's another one of the reasons why the need is so great. Wow. What, what organs can be donated? So all of the solid organs, so lungs, kidney, pancreas, liver, your heart can be donated as well. Those are the things that can be donated, small intestine, yeah. Are there any restrictions and what are the costs to donation? So as far as registering to be a donor, there are no restrictions. Anyone who wants to be a hero and leave that legacy when they're no longer here can do that and can register as an organ donor. Um, there is no cost associated at all at that time when we are procuring those gifts to give to someone. Indiana Donor Network assumes all those costs, so the family of that donor hero is not going to be charged anything. Okay. If somebody wants to be a donor and wants to get in touch with you guys, how can we do it? So you can register as a donor at the BMV when you go to get your new license, mm -hmm. you can do that. Um, or you can always go online to our website, indianadonornetwork.org, to register your donation decision and also read stories of donor heroes and their families. And I just want to say this, people should not be afraid to be an organ donor. Yes. There are many people that are. Yeah, and we try to stress that to everyone. There's nothing to be afraid of. Everyone wants to be a, le uh, to be a hero and to leave a legacy. Some of us won't have our names in the history books, but if you can leave something on this planet to help someone else when you're no longer here, that's a legacy that'll last forever. So Beautiful job yes. that you guys are doing. Yeah. Thank you so much. And well said. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. And thank you so much for joining us today. This was your weekly Community Link. To share this segment or learn more about the Indiana Donor Network, head to to be that guy.